Anthony Edwards making bold claims is as normal as the sun rising in the east. So when Adidas posted a photo on Instagram where Ant-Man was showcasing almost all colorways of the AE-1 and where the caption says, Sneaker of the Year, believe that, it wasn't really surprising because with the way Adidas has been campaigning the shoe, it's tough to argue against it. So stick around and let's talk. Welcome back this fresh bear smash the thumbs up button. Share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Adidas' social media campaign for the AE1 officially began on September 23, 2023 when the brand posted a video of the peach Lamborghini Urus with the three stripes and what would become the logo of Anthony Edwards. The next day, participants of Ant-Man's basketball camp were the first to get pairs of the AE1 same day adidas officially unveiled the shoe by october 2023 adidas fired some shots at other sneakers in a video posted that day we see ant-man and his best friend picking shoes from a bag one by one they threw away the shoes including sneakers mostly from nike until of course they found the one shoe the adidas ae1 you could say that it was a declaration of war On November 2023, Adidas dropped a video that some have pointed out resembles an old TV commercial from Nike, one for the Air Jordan 1 featuring Michael Jordan himself. This came at a time when rumors and jokes about Anthony Edwards being MJ's son were all over the internet. And by December, Adidas dropped a video for the AE1 with love colorway saying that the shoe is your favorite hooper's favorite hoop shoe because it's a cheat code. Come release day, we see Ant-Man telling kids to say Ant-Man did when people tell them they can't. To start 2024, Adidas posted a video on January for the New Wave colorway where we see Ant-Man seemingly convincing himself that he will be the best. Then in a follow-up video, Ant-Man sends the message that the AE1 is the best shoe across all types of courts. Then came the NBA All-Star Weekend on February where Adidas released the All-Star Game colorway of the AE1 along with a video where Ant-Man sets aside the complexities of the game and just enjoys it. Then on March, Adidas released the Best of AD colorway as Ant-Man is said to have entered the pantheon of Adidas icons. The playoffs began and the Wolves were set for a run. Adidas posted a video on March where Ant-Man painted over the letter C in the word can't so that the entire billboard only reads ant. A few days later, Adidas unveiled the Atlanta Vikings PE of the AE1 inspired by his quarterback days in his youth football team. By April, Adidas teased the first low-top version of the AE1. If Ant-Man can't be stopped in the mids, then all the more that he cannot be stopped in the lows, according to Adidas. But the playoffs would be over for the Wolves by May after losing the series to the Mavs. Adidas then posted a video where Ant-Man kept receipts for all the hate, saying that he is not who they think he is because he is better. Despite bowing out of finals contention, Ant-Man and Adidas continued with a strong push for the AE1. By July, the brand released the Ascent Pack consisting of a mid-top and a low-top. Then came the Paris 2024 Olympics where Team USA won gold and where Adidas gifted Ant-Man with a golden pair of the AE1. Almost a year later since the AE1 was launched, Ant-Man returned to his sack camp giving pairs of the pure ruby colorway to the campers. By October, Adidas dropped a lie detector test concept video for Ant-Man which sums up everything about his belief in himself. 
by November, Adidas portrayed Ant-Man in a video as the scariest player in the game, spooking the children gathered around the campfire. And finally, the post, Sneaker of the Year. It's been a wild year for Anthony Edwards and Adidas, and I think the year-long campaign for the AE1 shows how much Adidas has invested in building up Ant-Man's brand image. He believes in himself regardless of the situation, and the AE1 has been with him through it all. Shoe of the year? I have to agree. In the meantime, let me know what you think, what you honestly think. Should the Adidas AE1 really be the sneaker of the year? Because in my opinion, it's not even close. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.